Hello. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Isadora to set up a queuing system. So then you can hand out to your operator. And then they can press a key to just advance the queues. OK, so first of all, okay, use command, uh, command 5. And it brings up a queuing window, a queue like editor, and then command six will bring out a queue sheet. Okay, right here. So these two are what you're gonna need to advance the queues. Okay, another thing we need to set up is going to in case when you open your Isadora, this doesn't set up for you. Um, go to scene. And then I think edit go triggers. Okay. Now in here, next thing you want to make sure there's nothing checked, because that's what is set up for this guys. Yeah, for this crossfade. So once you get rid of it, it won't. This won't be functional anymore. Because we want to skip those things. We don't want. We don't want it to mistakenly use. Um, this crossfade function. We want to everything to be reading from the patch and bypass this function. So this one should be unchecked. And now we want to go to advanced queue sheets. So this is the one we want to set up a key to advance the queues. So click on keyboard and go to key. And then if this doesn't show up, press learn and press uh, a key here and then you will show up. So if you press learn, I press G, this shows up as G. Okay, so use G key, G as Gary to, um, to, to, to set this button to advance the queues. So that means, press OK, and that means that when the operator press G, it's going to advance the queues. But if I press G, nothing's going to happen right now because we haven't set up the queues yet. Okay, so in here, we're going to start setting queues. So now I have this scene here, 0.3 pre-show. That's in pre-show. Okay, I already did this queue just as a test. So as you can see, 0.5 is the next one. And the description is black. And what we, we're telling this queue to use spacebar. So this queue is going to press spacebar for us. Okay, and then that's how you edit it. And then you can see current queue is 0 0.3, one 0 0.3, and next next uh, queue or next scene is, two, is 0 0.5 black. And this one is telling you on the bigger format to tell you, okay, next one coming out, you're standing by for 0 0.5, and it's to black. That's a description of the queue. So now, we want to make sure it works. I'm going to press G. You see how I press G, it actually becomes spacebar and goes to the next queue. Right? And now this one has nothing here because I haven't programmed anything there. So let's do one. I'm going to do one with you. So next one, I can see I've named the scene as a queue number. So that's your reference. Now I want the program to go to the next scene, which is Q1, PQ1. Okay, these are projection queues, right? So I'm gonna press, I'm gonna add a queue here. Okay, and then description, I'm gonna write snow. That's the next scene. And then, because there's nothing here, it's just a jump, so it's obvious that it should be just a space bar. And I'm gonna write snow here, just to keep it on system. Okay, now I click away or press enter. Now if I click out and click back, you see how Q... Oh, I'm sorry, actually I should write a Q number here. So it makes things like more clear. So on this Q number, type in the Q number in here 
so then it will show up to Q1 snow yeah so that has a number make sure you put a number there okay let's test it I'm gonna press G it's gonna advance now we're in in our um, our Q1 in the stage managers SM's notes it's Q1 right now okay so now we're gonna do another one which is again plus one and space bar because there is no internal queues and then you can write to scene two I'm just gonna write scene two I don't know what scene two is it's to um can this like lock wrap uh this wrap but it's okay for now you can just like you can just write okay two scene two Okay, so press enter. Again, you see how it's all nicely written here. And then we can press G. It's kind of bends the Q to black and then one more to snow. And then stay manager calls to Q, uh, PQ2, PQ2 go, go, yeah. Okay, so you can continue writing this Q, keep editing this. Um, so, one thing I want to use is that for this black cues, are you can also copy and paste, like, you know, we have a black here, right? Uh, you don't have to use it, but we have a queue that's black and I can copy this so command C and I can go into here and then I can command D so it automatic copies the queue I just did and now all I need to do is change this one to the next number which is 4 because we're going to the next scene right and this cushion is to black again, right? So I can just press that and then I go out and come back in here to black for you know. So you can just one way if you want to copy and paste a queue. Okay, so you can continue to do all these numbers, um, all these things, and the one that doesn't have number it's because it's an uh, auto fade so for this one which I should write I mean I should I could you could write a note here that uh, you know uh, da, 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 it's fish okay yeah it's a spacebar uh, and then it's probably trigger in I'm gonna it's auto fade black. It's time to remember what number it is. Okay, so there is no Q here actually. So we are here and auto fade black. So, so I'm just gonna take this out because we know that that there is no Q here. So I can get rid of this. Because this one, there's no number, it means it's auto follow to here. Yeah. So when they're in a scene, which is auto follow to, to black. Okay. Um, okay, there are other auto follows probably in, in here. It's also auto follow. Okay. But it has a number because we have some Q9 in there, yeah. Okay. So Q9 is has intern this internal queue. So I put a little dot here. 
So this dot here means that there are internal queues within the scene. So in here, what you would do is, you know, uh, put the key, look at the common, and it says key one, and press hit one here. Very important, one. Okay, and then write down go red. Uh, don't look. You can write down those will be gray, and then because that's kind of the cue, uh, that's the action cue, and action cue, and this is like what the projection is about. And just write down nine, turn like go red, press enter. Now, when you come back in here, this G is not gonna do space bar anymore, it's gonna actually replace key one. So, I'm gonna press it. And you see how the projection turns red. Yeah, so you can kind of see what it does. Okay, now the next cue is even though I didn't write it here, it means that when every scene itself, if it's not auto follow, it always has a jump actor, which is a uh, default spacebar. So in here, after this key one thing, you gotta you know make another queue and make a space bar, and then uh, next look at the next scene. It's key ten, right? So type in ten. Thunder and put thunder here. Just so big key behind system. Okay. And now we we'll try again. Come back to the scene. Oh, why is it already red? Okay, it shouldn't be red. I need to fix that. Okay, and then you press go. G for go. Okay, turn red and next one, thunder, right? G, it goes into the, it jumps to the next scene. Thunder is in here. Okay, so same thing again. In this scene, there is a dot, right? So you have to make another internal queue with key one and just look at this, right? And then make another one for a space bar. You can copy and paste from this last thing if you want and then just change the, the number in the text. And please keep going until until the end. Some of it I did it I did a bit of work already because like for this one has a lot of like kind of complicated cues. So I just did them already. Uh, just so you know. And I did this one too as well. But if you can double check, I think sure all the internal keys are, are there. And try to read this and put it into the editor. That would be great. So all players really know what's going on. Uh, yeah, so that's how you make the queuing system use Adora.